Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. In this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the arrangement of the navigation buttons on stock Android based devices like the Red Hydrogen 1. It works on the Sony devices, it works on the Motorola devices, on a bunch of Chinese devices as well. It's not gonna work on the LG devices for example, but it's a try and error situation over here. So all you're gonna use is ADB. We are not going to use any applications, any you know root methods or anything like that. But before that, we're gonna get the phone ready. So go to about phone, tap on the build number a few times, and now you have to find the developer options settings. Now all you gotta do, guys, is um, connect the phone to the computer and enable USB debugging over here and hit OK. Then move to the ADB on the computer and press ADB devices and hit enter. Then it's going to ask you to allow the USB debugging, press OK. And pretty much let's move back to the ADB. Now press ADB shell over here and just hit enter. And now copy and paste this command line guys to the ADB and check this out on the phone itself. You can see that the bug button is on the left. I'm going to press enter now and see how it moves to the right. One, two, three. Okay, there you go. So the back button is on the right now and you can unplug the phone from the computer and pretty much that is it guys. Simple, no root, no additional applications. Now, if you want to change the looks of the button, for example, Samsung Galaxy S8 or something like that, you have to download an additional application. I've got another tutorial on that. I'm going to leave in a link in the description down below. But pretty much that's it, guys. Even if you type it wrongly, what's going to happen is that it's not going to break your device, but it's going to crash the system UI. And within a few seconds, you just uh, press the power button on and off and it's gonna take you to the main menu of the phone no problems whatsoever so pretty much that is it guys you're not risking anything by doing that you're just rearranging the buttons if you want to rearrange them back to their original positions just replace recent with back and pretty much that is it guys let me know in the comment section below if it worked for you and on which phone so you can update the compatibility list but pretty much that's it You've just pimped your buttons. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Vlogging Project. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.